What are you doing, son? I don't see the boys. Somebody's down. I don't see. Where's this guy's attack? These guys not drop? Oh, well, guess what you guys get to do. That's why you're supposed to pay attention, fellas. Hey folks, Pat here. Welcome back. Episode number 10, War on the Sea, 0500, 27 March 1942. Day number 29, 52 dollar dues in the bank. Got company coming our way. Paddock is in position to do something about that. Let's nav up towards him here. Uh, should have marked him on the map. Totally forgot to do that. Like this, right? Rotating. Yeah, all right, cool. So I get a midweek episode here. So uh, work is a little bit more chill right now. So good to see you all again. It's good seeing you on the live stream the other night. That was a lot of fun. So um, unfortunately, I didn't save the... Uh, there's a little button you click to save the uh, the chat. So if I didn't respond to you, I apologize. But there were like some three or four hundred things in there. <laughs> I wish I had gotten a chance to go back and read through them. So, but I apologize for that. Um, I still love you. <laughs> so, anyway, what do we got going on here? Um, let's check a what. I know there's a little gnarly. I don't know if that convoy is going to keep coming our way. We'll find out. So. Yep, they're going to keep cutting. Okay, they're closer than I thought. Uh, yeah, we need to hit them. Let's get the... Let's get the Buforts out there. Go drop some torpedoes on these guys. These guys do not have rockets, so... Let's go ahead and... Looks like they're still inbound. So let's go grab them. Oh, actually, you know what? We could do this professional-like. 123... 34 nautical miles. They got about three hours before they're there. I'd rather not sacrifice the B fighters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got other things in deal with you. Um, <clears throat> York is short on Dauntlesses. Everybody's getting short on all kinds of stuff. Um, we're gonna be able to hit these guys multiple times today. Let's grab the let's grab the transports first. I don't think they had any heavy cruisers there. Um, we could use Avengers. I think the Avengers have rockets. Um, let's just hit them with the Dauntlesses. No, nope, not cargo. I'm ass. Here we go. Well, let's see. Tiny Tim. I don't know what a Tiny Tim is. I've heard it before. It's not ringing a bell, though. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I'll have to Google that later. Um, now, nah, let's just use Dauntlesses. We need uh, SAP 1,000-pound bombs. Perfect. Done. They got no air cover. Not going to worry about cap. Going to worry about cap. So, got to do it. Do it right. Launch aircraft. Send uh, 12. 12 cats with them. Done. I want you guys to escort. I think it's going to be these guys. Should be. Let's see. Yep. They're going. Slowly. All right. Here we go. Jump in here. It'll wreak some havoc early in the morning. Wildcats are out front. There are our victims. Let's get the Dauntlesses up to altitude because they dive from 7,000 feet now. If I'm not mistaken. Um, at least I think that's right. Uh, I didn't do the conversion from feet to meters uh, not American units of measurement <laughs> but I think that's about right it's not too high we're just gonna let them go 
because we are we're almost a beam of them. I'm just gonna let the wildcats loiter. Uh, you guys head up that way. Nav that way. You guys cover our six. Yeah. All right. Oh, yep, victims. All kinds of victims. We got one, two, three, four, five Murchies here. And we've got 24 Dauntlesses. Um, this guy's dead in the water. We'll come back and strafe him. Because the whole, the whole convoy will move away from him. So that leaves us 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 divided by 24 is 6 apiece. Um, yeah. Alright. In we go. So let's uh, spool everybody up here. 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Form up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Form up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Form up. Got no aircraft. Oh, look at this. I got my lone little dude down here. Wow, they're really close. Yeah, we gotta we gotta nail these guys now. So we'll get them. We'll get them. You, brother. You're gonna man, those destroyers gonna chew you up. I might get to see some surface combat here. <laughs> I don't think it's really gonna qualify as combat. Where are my Dauntlesses going? Oh, why did I do this in line ahead? That's okay. We got time. Be patient. Pick. Form up. Nav this way. Climb it. These guys are in Vic. These guys are in Vic. These guys are in Vic. Right? Let's just double check. Sure. I'm up in Vic. I don't know why you guys are all navving that way. Whatever. Nav towards the enemy. Like this. They're all going slow enough, they should be able to form up. It'll just take a minute or two. guys around. Have these guys around just form a nice protective cocoon <laughs> around all the death that we're about to dish out here. Are we in six? We got six. Should all get there roughly about the same time. So let's start picking out targets here. We can give it a minute. Pretty morning. Not red though. Not red. Oh, I'd like to bag this guy too. Maybe later. Let's get these four back here. So we'll start with this guy way over here. Who is you? This guy. All right, so this Dauntless, attack this guy, this group. They're the furthest out, so let's, uh, let's attack this guy. Um, these guys, doesn't really matter. Go after this dude. And then these guys go after this guy right here. And that leaves us with this guy who we can run a wildcat pain train on. <laughs> so in we go. Yeah, he's dead in the water. He's not going nowhere. I wonder if these guys are actually making a beeline for my train. They're gonna get him. So, unless they all decide to cheese it, but they're gonna, they're gonna absolutely bag damaged goods down there. So, um, she's probably limited to 
like three knots. <laughs> so, so absolutely screwed. Which is too bad because I wanted to use her to shuttle some guys up to uh, Moresby. Maybe get Moresby back on its feet. So since Tristan, you were talking about Rabal, I think you're right. Um, now I'm not, not I'm not entirely convinced that I'm still going to work my way up the chain. I might work my way down the chain. So here we go. Um, just because actually these guys should be in box formation. So let's see if we got time to do that. I want box. Nice tight box for dive bombing. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Here come the flak. So we have that one ship. This guy right here has got the multiple mounts on her. Make sure these guys are going after the right dude. Looks like they are. Going after this guy back here. Pitch on in. Look at that dive angle, man. <laughs> He's just hanging on the straps. <laughs> Open up the dive brakes. These guys are collecting most of the flak in the beginning. Off they go. We'll take it. Let's watch the destruction. So everybody else should be coming in about the same time. Sounds like we lost somebody. Where are the rest of my... There they are. I don't know why they came in from that direction. We'll take it though. Oh no, it's just the angle. These two guys. Next. Next. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and last but not least. How are you doing, son? I don't see the boys. Somebody's down. I don't see. Where's this guy's attack? These guys not drop? Oh, well, guess what you guys get to do. That's why you're supposed to pay attention, fellas. Two down. Looks like they're gonna get some more pot shots at us. We lost two. It's not bad for an entire convoy. Here they go. Kind of a janky angle. Very janky angle. Yeah. These guys are coming in a little steep. Maybe. Here go all the eggs. Splash one of my boys. That's a damn encounter, man. <laughs> that one's cooked. <laughs> Absolutely cooked. <sighs> Alright, two down. This guy not get hit? No, she's sinking. Let's uh, check our map here. Sunk, sunk. So this guy's done. This guy's done. Uh, this guy's not looking too hot. Um, this guy's looking really rough. Look at that. Look at that list there. I'm gonna rip her side open. Moderate damage on that one. Critical, critical, heavy, heavy. Moderate, that one's sunk. Um, this is the one that's dead in the water. Let's go uh, wildcat you, shall we? Where are my wildcats? Gentlemen, get back in the fight. Let's uh, line ahead. Let's get everybody here. Warm up, went ahead. Everybody's kind of down here, so that'll be perfect. We'll police everybody up. Hit the deck. Just gonna let all the Dauntlesses go. It's like these guys are no longer interested in um, damaged goods back here. Maybe. Uh, this guy sank? Who sank? This guy sank. 
Kamigawa Maru. Down. This was the other heavy in the area. So we need to go after this guy back mm -hmm. here. All the rest of these guys are sunk now, I think. Is this guy sinking? Looks mm -hmm. like it. Maybe not. One, two, three down. This guy's not sunk yet. Not moving, though. Oh, it's windmilling. That would be a successful strike for the cost of the three Dauntlesses and maybe a Wildcat or two. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's go uh, check out our wildcats. Where is the convoy? Can't see it no more. It's up here. Visibility pretty low. So here come all the boys. Come on, my boys, line up. We'll have them slow way down here. On me. Slow up. I don't want to go too slow. Reasonably slow. Everybody else will fall into formation here. We're 50 feet apart. Let's do 100. Is this feet? Yeah, this is feet. Yeah, feet, knots. Feet. Might be yards. I don't know. Go in here and ID our target. Where are you? Where'd you go? This one, way back here. Can't see him yet. way a little bit. Thanks for providing a nice smoke screen here. That's what this is. So that's a cruiser putting up a smoke screen. Right? This guy. Oh no. No, oh, never mind, that's burning. <laughs> there we go. That's what we're looking for. Let's uh pitch on over this way a little bit. Everybody follow me. I'm gonna line up nice and nice and even Steven. Right through the smoke here. Keep your eyes on the leader. He's up here. All right, in we go. All the way down. See if we can get underneath those guns. We are gonna fly right through kind of this mess here, but that's okay. We'll probably lose a bird or two, but. Not 12. <laughs> Ooh, famous last words. <laughs> Lining up perfect on this guy. Back here. Uh, in theory. There we go. Now they're going to shoot at us. Oh, those are my Dauntlesses despawning. There. This is that Kitakami right here. That's that other light cruiser over there. Does not have a great angle on us. So, still, you guys are still going to take a little bit here. All right. 2500 up on in pitch on over red rover <laughs> you're assuming the flight position of uh, the leader <laughs> and here we go like yeah lost him too but everybody else is gonna be good this is this is mean 
<laughs> this is mean. <laughs> I think we got her. <laughs> In fact, we did. Everybody else healed off there. Let's go ahead and grab that other guy who's still wounded. Uh, let's see. Lost one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Warm up. Let's take it way nice and slow. And we're going to go grab that last guy over there. I mean, in theory, I could go after some of the warships, but I don't care about them. I don't care. I'd rather have the planes. Um, they might be going after C3 or our, our lone guy down there, but we will. Uh, this is when we're radioing that dude and say, so like, everybody get in a motorboat now. So, anybody who's left on that ship, prepare the launch. <laughs> Down on the deck. Warm up. Where's this last guy? Where did he sink? No, he's right here. This guy. 4,000 yards. Pitch on up. Up 2,500 yards. Rake this guy down. We might lose a couple more birds. Oh, they're coming right over the, right over the, the that other cruiser here. But he won't get all of us. That's for sure. Angle's kind of crappy here, but we'll make it work. Attack. Can't see because of smoke. Here they all come. Over here. We can watch it from their angle. In we go. Absolutely light this ship up. There we go. I think that'll do it. That's one convoy donezo. Yep, she's done. Alright, let's see where they go. They might not even be able to see her now. In fact, I doubt it. Um, we have radar. This guy's probably got radar. Um, I think so. Let's see. That would be all our merchies. Um, did we lose any more Wildcats? We lost one. So we lost four Wildcats. Cool. I'll take it. These guys are leaving. Uh, it appears as if they are leaving. That is this guy, Ubari. Sensors, no radar. What about Kitakami? You got radar? Kitakami. No radar. I think one or two of these destroyers do. Um, but it might just be air radar. Like destroyers. Yeah, they're just circling around. The one up. One between the funnels, little funnel back here. This guy. Yagumo. These are the ones with the dual purpose guns, if I'm not mistaken. Yes! So these are dangerous. We do have 14 nautical mile surface radar on this guy. Yeah. And this is the same. But no, this is a different one. So the Japanese modern destroyers, a lot of them look very similar. I know a lot of you have played a ton of Silent Hunters, so you can probably identify most of them on site. So Shimakaze, right here. Do you have radar? You have no radar. I think it's just this guy that actually has the radar. So... He's just got his rudder hard over. 
So it's just the two destroyers and the two light cruisers. If he turns around, if he keeps going in circles, if he makes a circle and doesn't break for us down here, because we're way over there, if I'm not mistaken, um, we will uh, we'll go ahead and hit the button. So, but we'll give him a chance. Um, some tells me they're just stuck in maneuver mode, though, whatever that is, at least at the moment, because they're way up here. Actually, now they're way up here. Yeah. No, he's just going to keep spinning in circles. You guys have no convoy to protect. And now, they don't have anything to bombard with, so they will definitely be heading home. So, off we go. We're going to let them do that. So, there's three more. Ten more dollar dues. Man, we're getting close. We're getting real close now. 23,000 tons. We'll take it. So, continue. Off we go. Gentlemen. A well-deserved ride or ticket home, RTB. Um, since they were close enough, we can send Lex and York back out this way, try and dog catch in this other convoy. Once we get that convoy in, I think we're going to call it good. Let's get this guy out of here. Send him up to Moresby for now. Um, just for the sake of prudence, Lex ready to launch. 62 command points. See, they're, they're, they're heading home. We're going to leave them be. Uh, this is this guy over here. We don't care about that. There might be a carrier spooking around here somewhere. So, but we should be able to handle it. Oh, there we go. Got some Murchies over there. Um, just little guys, though. Those are those shuttle runs that they keep running back and forth. I don't know if they actually carry much cargo. If that's actually modeled in the game or whatnot, I don't know. So, um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend any strike planes on them at the moment. So, I know, I know, I know. I should, but I'm not gonna. So, drum is here. That's a problem. Whoa, that's a big problem. Drum, you're oh man, down you go. Crash dive. Uh, maybe they'll go chase the Dauntless. <laughs> what do we got here? These might be carrier-based planes. There's 12 of them. So they could come from either Rabal or they could be carrier-based. Um, my guess is that the carrier-based, there'd only be... Um, there'd be a full 24 if it's a heavy carrier. Uh, looks like they're actually going after Drum. You need, you need to dive ASAP. Otherwise, you're going to get wrecked. Either that, or they're, they're assuming altitude. Climb. Oh, or they're leaving. That'd be cool, too. <laughs> what are you guys doing now? They're going down to the drum. So, everybody here is going to escape. This guy is going to get out of there before they can ever get any close to the drum. And the drum's already down. So, what submarine? I didn't see a submarine here. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Oh, well, let's see. All right, let's get out of here. I do want Drum to stay in the area, though. She's just patrolling. Herring's heading back. Um, flying fish is going to come down here and help cover the gap. Finback's keeping an eye on Tarawa, but... So here's Cure. 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 I can't remember. Cure, right? And so if the theory holds that they're shooting guys out of Rabal and out of here, then a patrol zone like here to here and then another one from here to here would be a good thing so and then we can keep haddock down here Let's check our turp she's getting a little bit lower on torpedoes flying fish has got all of hers finback's got all but 
a couple of hers. That's right, she blew a destroyer to pieces. I think that was her first kill, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I have to go back and pull tape on that. <laughs> so, um, let's ignore this for now. All right. Um, because they would be coming straight down here. That makes sense. Why they would actually let's not ignore that. Let's um since gas isn't a thing, let's go ahead and get them up there. I think they'll do us more good. We'll just set up a patrol zone here ish. Let's get them up there first. So and then figure that out. And then so then we'll have a daisy chain that goes all the way down here. I'm not watching Rabal at the moment, but that's because I don't think troops are actually coming out of Rabal. So I thought they were coming out of truck. So it should make sense. So yeah. Had a, those planes could have come out of any of these bases. There's just tons and tons of planes here. So yeah, getting to lay is gonna be a pain. So um, but it would make sense because then you can cover this gap. I don't know, man. That's a lot of resources. That's a lot of resources to spend on that. I'm not I'm not I'm thinking about it, but I'm not 100 percent convinced yet. So Yorktown ready to launch. Those guys are leaving. Dauntless, attracting some attention here. Land base, planes probably, don't care. Leaving. Off we go. Ah, oh, man, I hope today's a little bit quieter. So, or at least our, our destruction for the day is done. Don't care. I know you guys are just doing the chasey chasey thing, so. <sighs> Lux ready to launch. So we got all our flight groups back up. We're almost close enough to dog catch this guy. So let's see. 398, not quite. Let's keep going east. Uh that means this kind of east. There we go. This guy is not attracting the attention of Santa Cruz yet. So we still have all our patrols up here, that's good. Task Force 29, 20, yeah, we don't have to dog catch until the morning, so they can't launch now. So, let's just make sure that Lex and York are in, in the vicinity. Like that. To catch him in the morning. Alright, go ahead and speed up here. Day 30, should be getting some more command points here in a couple days. So, what is it, every seven days? So, five more days? Man. God, did you stop moving? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to get cap over them here in the morning. We can actually do some jiggy jaggies with our carrier here, too. Oh, this little bow tie there. All right. 28 March 1942. Air Ops now available. I mean the Lex. Uh, let's get 12. Over those guys. This is Task Force 29. So all the way down to zero. Get over Task Force 29. Please. Thank you. Rinse and repeat. I want you to do that all day. So our Lex is our duty carrier. York is our strike carrier. At least for the moment. Nice easy breezy so far. I'm in squeezy to check our weather. Weather's nice and gnarly. I love it. It's exactly what I want to see down here right now. Just keep on keeping on. That was a whole day right there. Love it. So that is one thing about this mod in particular. So it is going to be a slog if you want to get all the way to that victory screen. So I'm going to tell you that right now. So we've only been playing for what, a month? Two, two months almost? When the American campaign starts? Somewhere in February? Hmm. All right, Flying Fish is in position here. Let's 
reorganize here. I want two patrols here like that. Then I want you guys to basically touch. Just keep nice tight watch on that drum. You're still doing a good job. You, you got a little ways to go. Aaron's heading back home. This needs needs Terpatis. Crappy American Terpatis. But hey, sometimes they work. <laughs> Air ops available. Let's go ahead and get um some cap up. Oh no, 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 no. No, stop that. You. Uh yeah, launch aircraft. I wonder if I reset that guy so he's actually just cruising around above Task Force One now. We'll have to go back and look. There we go. Yeah, I want you to repeat that mission all day long. Yeah, land. Ah, jerk. Come on. Mm. I mean the Donalds. Oh no. What does he do? No, stop that. None. Go, go do your patrol thing, man. And now he's confused. <laughs> All right, fine. RTP. <laughs> go ahead and launch another one out here real quick. Oh, the travails of air traffic control. So, it's fine. I kind of enjoy it. Once you get it set up, it's not too bad. So, let's see. He was directly west or east. 680 nautical miles. Go about like that. Cool. Okay. They might uh, decide to leave us alone here for a little bit. Uh, famous last words. Two Oilers, I doubt that. Uh, do we have our bow fighters back? We might. We do. Rocket time. So that is definitely both. Ooh, they're far. Um, well, let's get them kicked out here. Let's go check this out. Submarine's right there, too. Let's see if we can get a speed and direction on these guys. Oh, no, they're, they're not going to make it. They're going to make it. They're going to make it back, 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 back. Boop. They're going to make it back to port before we ever get up here. So we got Kamigawa Maru. And this guy here. All right, abort mission. It was a thought. False alarm, boys. Go back and grab another cup of coffee. So. Well, we don't want these guys to get too close to anything gnarly up here. So, they're just going to stick around until we get this convoy back home. So, um, everything else is looking pretty good here. Dauntless, one MS, one AO. This might be a different group. Let's go check it out. Oh, never mind. It's dark. 1858? Yeah, screw that. Well, they are heading that way. Red at night, sailor's delight. I guess you guys get lucky. So, see if we can find them in the morning. Bow fighter bait. Australian murder hornets. Now, I just want you guys to patrol. No. Nine hours. Should be there in the morning. Then we will have six Australian murder hornets. And I think at that point in time, Milne will probably be pretty self-defending. Um, maybe one more convoy. Um, I'm not going to send another convoy down there. I mean, we'll blow up another convoy. Because if I was going to send another convoy, I would have sent these guys already. So, we are maxed out here at Midway. Um... In terms of troops and supplies, but what I want to do is I want to get these guys back up there 
make a big convoy or buy a new one. Actually, yeah, I'll probably just flush that convoy out. Um, and then 10,000 Basilon boys are gonna make a little trip down to Tarawa here. So as soon as we get our cruiser group too. Unfortunately, we're just not getting very many command points right now because the Japanese have decided to take all their toys and go home for the time being, which is fine. So just makes us stronger. Speaking of which, can we offload? No. All right, can't zoom the map in that far. There we go. <laughs> Unload. Damn. Mm. Love it. 229301. Uh bam. Yes. We still have plenty of engineering to actually soak up any losses. Yes. Mm. Oh, look at this. I got boats. Hmm. Oh, that means I can keep my kitty hawks here. Send the Sunderlands out. They have radar on them too. So, yes, yes, yes. We will do that. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and recall RTB. Um. You also RTB. Everybody, get back there. We're gonna send the Sunderlands out instead. So let's do that. I love these planes, man. So they fly for days and upon days. So we can do a much better job of patrolling these gaps here now. Like that. So and give me another one. Or or not. Or not, Mel. Now they will get chased like crazy, but I'm not gonna let the Japanese just like murder these guys. So they are radar equipped. They would spot the Japanese way before the Japanese would ever spot them and cheese it. So, or at least that's my that's my logic. <laughs> so, <laughs> feel free to criticize in the comments, man. I can take it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can take it. Oh. Off we go. Back to home. It'll take a month. <laughs> This guy's only about halfway home, a little bit more than. So let's see. Uh, carrier can stick in the area for the moment. Um, we need to start thinking about moving them into operations up in here. Now that I think Milne, that's interesting. What did you spot here? One CV and one oiler? I doubt that. My guess would be a merchant and oiler. Yep. Oh man, maybe there's a carrier here? Nope. <laughs> nope. Kamigawa Maru, what's our course? We are heading 136, or no, 182 at 12 knots. You guys are bow fighter bait. Confirm. So let's go ahead and drop a marker there. Boop. My guess is that they're actually heading this way, not directly south, but that's okay. Both fighters got the range. Let's go. Let's go use them a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> we can get both of them at once now. So this is going to be so mean. <laughs> ah, get up there. See what you can find. I think both fighters can actually outrun zeros, too. If I'm not mistaken. Let's find out real quick. So zeros have 288 max speed. Um, bow fighters 280, so pretty much close enough. So ceiling 19th. I don't think anything has a higher ceiling than a zero. Uh, in this game, 33,000. No, no, no. I might be wrong about that. 32,000? 32,000, yeah. New Japanese planes had really high ceilings. So. What about American planes? 33,000? 41,000? Oh, yeah, that's Corsair. We don't have any of those. 33,000? Okay, so they got about the same. All right. Yeah, someday we'll get some Corsairs in 1944. <laughs> so.
which will be about what March our time. <laughs> so, uh, Dauntless way up here. Yeah, just get chased around a little bit. Oh, I forgot to order my bow fighters up there, didn't I? Or did I? No, nope, I did. So we'll scrub down in this area, see if we can find them. Uh, Twelve knots. So that would be an hour. Right there. Two hours. Do it like that. Alright. Um, everybody else looks good. For the moment. You guys moving? You guys are not moving, but that's okay. You can go do some uh, convoy escort here. So, nice light duty for you all today. I'm not going to worry about putting cap over these guys. Never mind, I'm going to worry about putting cap over these guys. <laughs> Might as well use it if you got it. So, unload car. Oh, no. Launch aircraft. I might as well. Be nice and prudent. Learn from all my old mistakes. S Force 29. Rinse and repeat, sir. Thank you. Oh, Lexi, you're ready to launch. Hey! What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. Alright. Two, three. Pick. Warm up. One, two, three. Warm up thick. Hit the deck. Hit the deck. Oh. oh, this makes me so happy. <laughs> These guys are armed, though. Rocket attack, might as well just keep uh, standard speed. I don't think going slower with the rockets actually makes a difference. Definitely with strafing. You guys are all totally right about that. All right, let's pitch on in here. Look at this, getting fancy controlling two of these guys at once, kind of on the fly. All right, you guys target this guy. Never mind. Pause. You guys target that guy. You guys target this guy. And let's get down to about 2,000 yards. Pitch up. Stop that. 2,500 yards. Miss me. Everybody coming with? Yeah, okay. Just had to check the rear view mirror there for a sec. 2,500 yards, here we go. Target this guy, attack. Target this guy, attack. In we go. Let's watch the fun, shall we? Watch it from your perspective. So we can see all the things. Rockets. There we go. Oh, I splashed one of my boys. I <laughs> got this guy though. <laughs> Nailed him. So he's not armed. He's got that fake gun back here. That means everybody else is gonna go strafe the hell out of this other dude. Form up, line ahead. Down on the deck, boys. Where are your friends? Where's the other two? I'm gonna reduce speed here so that everybody gets together. There they go, they're over here. I think that I think this tanker is probably done. So let's check our report. Yeah. So this other guy though, he needs some 20 mic mic. So yep, tanker's down. Let's uh go get this other guy. We're gonna spin around here. Ah, oh, I love this, man. This is great. Alright. Warm up. Line ahead. 
We're slowly getting it. Slowly getting into formation here. We're gonna target this guy. Hit that attack button once we get down to about 2,000 yards. 2,500. We're going a little bit fast, so let's take that down a little bit. I don't want to take it all the way down. He is armed, so... I think he's just got the, the one on the stern, though. I don't think those bow cannons can uh, spin around just quite yet. Famous last words. Meanwhile, this guy's done. Everybody's coming with. Here we go. Attack. See, that gun can't quite bear. I don't think. Maybe it can now. Yep, there it goes. Here comes the 20 mic mic, though. Yeah. Oh, lost another boy. I think we got her though. Hit the deck. Get underneath those guns. Ah, we got her. We got her. That's two more Murchies down for the price of two bow fighters. So we'll get one of them back tonight. Um, great big convoy shows up. We still have the carriers in the area. We're good for another day or two. So, but that'll do. All right, we can remove that, gentlemen. Head on home. Sounds good. Um, let's see. What are we at? Fifty-one. Let's see if we can get our cruise. <gasps> Look at that. That actually gave us enough command points where we can go up here um midways under this mess here somewhere and buy ourselves a new cruiser group so this one is going to be uh task force 11 um and we are going to buy all kinds of yummy yummy things Let's see so I like the Pensacola's because they have 10 um, 8 inch guns um, and 8 dual purpose 5 inchers Northampton's only got 9 and 8 and then the Portland's got 9 I think all the others New Orleans has 9 and they all cost the same so I like to get the uh, Penzies first there's two Penzi and Salt Lake um, is there any other reason why I don't want to buy these? So we have good search and, and air radar. So Northampton's got more armor, but not on the magazine. No, actually, Pensacola's got more armor. Portland's got a better air radar. And better, better armor. New Orleans... I like these just for sentimental value and so let's get one of these with uh they've got the increased search radar as well so let's uh grab the no boat and let's grab the uh um actually you know what i want i don't want this one I want the fighting ship. Well, I mean, so like the New Orleans has like kind of a soft spot in my heart. So, um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do it. So, what the hell? So, <laughs> so there's a couple ships in the war that that I'm I'm particularly amenable to, and then the no boat is one of them. So we'll go ahead and grab her, and then do the Penzi and the Salt Lake. So let's see. That's um. Oh no, that's 66 points. Oh, dummy, we need 84. Wait a minute. We do not. <laughs> so, and I'll show you why. So, um, here we go. Let's go ahead and grab these. Done. And then, over here, we can just split these two guys off. So, 
Let's uh, split group. Take those two guys off. Then merge group. Um, let's see if they actually merge into the cruisers. Now nah, they merge back into those guys. So we got to send everybody out of port here a little bit. Um, that's okay. Split group. Of course, out of here. And my cruisers. Guys, rendezvous out there as well. Give it a couple minutes. Minutes to win it. <sighs> what do we got down here? Almost out. Yeah, I don't care about this. Bye. See ya. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to get a bunch more points here in two days. So we can flesh out this entire convoy here in two days and uh, call it good. So let's see. Yeah, because this convoy is coming back. So then we've got what, three up here? What is this? We've got a tanker and two C3s up here. Yeah, we're going to start doing some ship juggling here pretty soon. What is this, Sunderland? Way up here? Yeah, I don't care about this. Although they might come after me because i got a freaking submarine right here, don't I? Drum, are you in the way again, dude? You sure are. You better get down. <gasps> <laughs> Dive the boat. Oh, man, they're right on you, brother. Oh, these are jigs. These are all jigs. They should not have bombs on them. They do not. Zeros are all going after. Everybody's going after the submarine, so cheese it, man. Uh, get out of here. Uh, we might lose one of these. Unless they're all, if they're all going down to the deck, then I'm gonna let them escape. Yeah, they're all going down to the deck. Let's see. They might. They might actually get drum though. So they're right there. Nope, 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 nope. We're going down. We're going down. Let's see. Are they going to come after my Sunderland? Mm. Nope. All right. Oof. <laughs> nice escape, man. <laughs> so, we got new additions here. So, let's go ahead and get our screenshot for the day. Oh, no, we got to, our screenshot's going to be the cruiser group. Let's go ahead and do that. So... All right, man, you lucky dog. Get out of here. Um, I know I'm being kind of nice to him, but it's okay. Doing Farragut. Um, these are not Mayhands, so but that's okay. Let's um merge. There we go. Task Force Eleven. Let's set up our. How do we want to do this? Um, two column now. Three column? No. No. Line ahead? No. Yeah, we might as well just do line ahead. Battle line is one out. No, we don't want to do that. Circular? No. Arrow. Doesn't really work with only five ships. Convoy looks stupid. Um. Yeah, we'll just do line ahead. These guys. Let's uh, change. Dewey. Uh... Uh, no. Farragut, no boat. Swap. There we go. Done. Alright, let's go take a look. Then we'll go ahead and wrap up for the day. There we go. Alright, we're in the money. So, we've got new pieces on the board. So, there we go. There's your screenshot for the day. <laughs> so, let's get out of here. So, oh man. These models look so great. They are so good that you just you just got to admire them a little bit, especially this one. This one's absolutely fantastic. So, and having built a model of this ship, so it's it's really it's really nice to see exactly how much detail they've put in. I know the World of Warships ones are much much more detailed, but you know, the ones here in War on the Sea are just clean and they look really really good. And so, welcome to the fight no boat. And uh, the twin 10-gun terrors up here. 
So with your big old box spring radars on you, we're going to put you to good use. Actually, that's a pretty good screenshot right there, too. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. <laughs> it's just <laughs> ship porn. <laughs> okay, Dunzo. All right, we're at an hour, almost exactly, so that's perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and tie up here. Um, situation for the next video is we're two days away from getting a, another batch of command points here. So, which would be 38 uh, plus whatever we sink. That'll be enough to flush out that convoy with some Macaulays and uh, get them heading towards Tarawa. Meanwhile, Task Force 25 is coming back. This, C this C3 is slightly damaged, but not too bad. Absco, we're going to have to release. So, my plan is to take both of these guys. We're going to keep this C3 in the fight, even though she's a little bit damaged. Um, because, well, she, had, she does have flooded engineering. Maybe we'll release her too. But we'll take the McDonough and merge her up with um, these guys up here, along with another destroyer and a couple larger transports, which cost a little bit more. Not heavy cruisers. Um, yeah, there we go. We probably want a couple of these Macaulays. If I'm not mistaken, it's either the Macaulay, the Harris 13, so two of those holds. Each one of those holds like 1,800 troops, if I'm not mistaken. So we want a few of those as well. So at least three of those get us up over 5,000 troops. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? We might have to wait a little bit. Um, yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit. Well, that's okay. We got to go uh, bombard anyway. And so we might as well schedule that. See how long that's going to take. 56 hours. So let's play it a little safe here. Call it. 59 hours so 60 hours yeah so a little bit day in two two and a half days get down there go ahead and bombard the bejesus so two and a half days down two and a half days back that's five days so two days gets me a convoy uh reinforcements plus whatever we can salvage out of this and so yeah we're gonna schedule the invasion for tarawa probably about Let's see, what are we, 30th of March? Probably going to be the second week of April. So um, it's coming up pretty close. And so we'll sit down, we'll do some math on that. We'll uh, keep fighting the Japanese down here. we got to start thinking about getting our carrier back home too. And so that's probably on the docket as well. Uh, meanwhile, we can use bow fire to start picking up some points down here. Watch out for anything that's coming our way. Because we do have um, pretty decent striking force of Buforts down here now too. And so um, this will only get stronger over time, uh, especially. But like the next thing, 300, 300, that's a pretty, that's a pretty steep climb. Um, that's a pretty steep climb. That's at least three oilers and two transports for supplies. So three and two and another three transports. So that'd be five, five merch, five Five cargo ships, three oilers, so that's eight ships we gotta get down here uh, in order to up that as well. Um, that'll probably be our number one priority after we launch, after we piece together everything for Tarawa, which will take another week or two. So, um, I don't know, I'll have to think about it a little bit. Uh, think with me. So, questions, comments, concerns, you know where those go. Uh, if you wanna keep up with the series, you know what you need to do. So, and, um, we will see you all here for episode number 11 here pretty soon. But episode 10 in the can, um, we'll be back up uh, probably this weekend. So hope to see you there. Take care now. Bye.